John literally trained every single person who has ever done BPM ever. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this, but you're sitting across the way from a BPM celebrity. So John, this video is going to be about cognitive business operations. So let's start with what are cognitive business operations? A cognitive business operation, as opposed to a, a regular business operation, it, it really is just that now in the 21st century, uh, machine intelligence, deep learning systems are at the stage to where we can use those to help make your business operations more efficient. Now, in a cognitive system, what we do is we set up the system to mine the data of your operations, uh, monitor your operations, gather information about everything that goes on in your business, and then we use that as a training set to train the system on how to respond to particular situations. And, and when you think about it, it's, it's much, much more applicable to um, building more robust situations because every time there's a new situation in your business, there's a different set of criteria. We can then take that set of criteria and use it to adjust the system's learning. So you're talking about training and learning, but we're software developers, so how does software development differ when you're building a cognitive business operation? Okay, that's a really good question. So what, what is different? Well, okay. So the thing is, when you have a cognitive system that is able to determine what the next best action is, in a traditional um, approach, a, tr a traditional BPM approach, we would have defined what the workflow was. So we would have come up with tailored steps for each um, operation that takes place in a particular sequence. And we would have coded this in such a way that we were expecting um, the first, second, and third operation. In, in a cognitive system, uh, the system itself is going to determine what the next best action is. If you look at that, it's kind of like the difference between uh, building a, a solution today for a structured process versus building a solution today for a case management system. In a case management system, a human takes a look at the current state of the case and they determine what the next best thing is to do and then they go and they execute that operation. Well, now with the cognitive business operation is kind of the same thing, except instead of a person, the system is determining the next best thing to do. So it's much more about preconditions before something can be done rather than an absolute sequence of, of, uh, of operations.